Would you like to learn how to create eye-catching animated subtitles like these? Let me show you how. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. Nice and easy, but very effective tutorial today. So let's jump right in. Right, I've got my footage. I've dragged it down onto the timeline. Now to create animated subtitles, we first need to right click on our footage and go to speech to text. It's English UK. I don't want any translation. I'm using the clip selection and this is the important one to tick. Add automatical active words. Once you click that, you'll notice that titles is automatically selected. Then just click on OK and let film order work its magic. Now depending on the size of the clip, it may take a minute or two. This is only a short clip so won't take that long. As you can see it's in transcription now, 99% complete. Give it a second. There you go, completed. Right, what that's done is that's created the subtitles for that piece of footage. So let's just take a look. Would you like to learn how to create eye-catching animated subtitles like these? Let me show you how. Right off the bat, that's quite impressive anyway, but there's a few things we can do. I noticed a couple of things that were wrong there. Well, not wrong, I just want to change. For example, I'd like to put a capital W at the beginning. So I click on the text, and I simply change that to a capital W. As we go along, I also noticed that looks fine. That looks fine. Don't worry about the colors and size and font yet. So I'll show you how to change that. I noticed on the third one, the subtitles jump up to the top for some reason. Now what we can do with that quite simply is click on the titles again, go to the video tab, and we need to change the Y scale to zero. It's on 120. I don't know why. But <laughs> if you put it to zero, it jumps back down to where it should be. And I think the last set of subtitles was the same. Yeah, that's too high as well. So click on those, go to the video tab and change that to zero as well. There we go. Let's just go back to our first lot of text. Click on that. And now on the titles tab, you'll see that a new template there for your animated titles. You can choose different styles. So for example, once you click on them, you can have a little play to see if you like that one or not. To learn how Let's try another one. How to create Ike. I'm only doing this on the first set of text at the moment, so. Would you like to learn how? That's plain white. The next one is Would purple you like and yellow. How you can't see the yellow, but I'll tell you why in a minute. The third one, which is the one I like, is this one. Would you like to learn how? Okay. and so on and so on so i'm going to stick with this green and white one at the moment right now we chose our template we want to go to the basic tab and this is where we can change a few things the first thing i want to do is i want to make one of the words stand out make it a key word so i want the word learn to be a key word so i highlight the word learn and then a little pop-up comes up and i'm going to click on emphasize that makes it a key word and I'll show you what that means in a minute. As we go down, our text is the standard text, all of the text on the line. So we want to make that bigger. I'll make it 44. So that changes all the white text. So you can see as it goes along now, the white text is 44, but the green text is smaller because the green text is the active words. And underneath here, you can see active words. So we'll change that to 44 also. That makes it all the same size now with the white text. And don't forget, I emphasized and made the word learn a keyword. So underneath that is keywords. So you can see the word learn there is in white at the moment, but it's smaller than the rest. I want to make that 44 also, but I want to make that a different color. I'll make that pink just to make it stand out. So now on the first lot of text we have, would you like to learn how to create the whole text, we have the green going along as I speak, and the word learn is emphasized as a key word. That's great. Create eye-catching animated subtitles like these. What about all the rest of the text? Easy. Once we've done our first lot of text, make sure you're on that. Go down to the bottom right and click on apply to all. Click on apply again. And now all of your other text 
has been changed into the same format as your first lot of text. Let's see that in action. Let's go back to the beginning. Would you like to learn how to create eye-catching animated subtitles like these? Let me show you how. How great is that? What we can do also on the other pieces of text, like the second one, you can see all those are emphasized in keywords at the moment. I don't want them all as keywords. I just want the words eye-catching as keywords. So I'll choose the word animated. I'll click on emphasize. That will unemphasize it. <laughs> you know what's active and what isn't because they have like a green box around them. So eye-catching is now a keyword and you can see the keywords are purple or pink. So now when I move across to the very end, you can see eye-catching is in pink and the word animated is the active word. Okay, hope that makes sense. Might make more sense on the next one. Let's go along to subtitles like these. I want to make the word subtitles a keyword, so I highlight it. The pop-up comes up, I click on emphasize. And again, that's still pink. So now, when it comes off the word subtitles, that will be emphasized. See what I mean? And the last one, let me show you how. I'll just make the word how a keyword. So click on titles, highlight the word how, emphasize it, and that automatically becomes pink because it's a keyword. Let's go back to the beginning and see what that looks like. Would you like to learn how to create eye-catching animated subtitles like these? Let me show you how. How was that? Easy, simple, effective. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification icon. That really does help my channel. As always, thanks for watching. Now go have some fun.